the bound for the Hannons. Number four, Star Align. Expect big improvement. And number seven, Start the Fryer. Three, one, four, and seven. All right, it's value for Crushane. Little Fish, his selection at $23. Here's Royce Newton for the call. Yeah, thanks, Brett. Runners coming forward well here for race number six on today's program, the Yarradale Stud. Tom Sayers, Memorial Handicap. 1,300 metres the distance as Kakadu approaches the line. So just a handful of gallopers to come forward and we will be set. One last look at the market. 3.30, 3.10 now, Moshard. It is the favourite. It's taken over from number four, Star Align, 3.50. Magna Force at seven, and then start the Friar next best at tens, who goes in now. Thanks, Stu. TAB Radio on board as well. Just two to come forward, and we will be set. This is uh, the precursor to today's Blue Spec Drilling Boulder Cup as Belladere comes forward, trained by Neil Della. Jade McNaught looking for a double. No doubles in the riding ranks today. A treble, however, to Peter Fernie who uh, kicked off the meeting in good style, winning three of the first four events as Little Fish, one of his gallopers, comes forward. OK, stand by. We're set. 1,300 the distance. Good little race, this one. Signal given from behind, and the starter releases the field. Watto's Fury from out wide had early speed. Turbo Power pushing forward together with the Chestnut Magna Force. They were being followed by Little Fish, who gets into a good position early on. Balladeer and Start the Friar caught three deep. Then Stratocreed midfield together with Kakadu. Star Align well back, likewise with Moshard, and settling down last of all, it's Blazing Tycoon. 900 metres to run as they head to the side of the course. It's Turbo Power, who found the fence, shows the way three quarters. What Fury. Now running third is Magna Force down on the inside. Start the Friar around the outside on the improve, but doing overtime. They were followed next of all by Little Fish, and then came Balladeer down on the inside. Strata Creed, Kakadu, Star Align, Blazing Tycoon, and last of all, it's Moshard. So with 500 metres to run. It's Turbo Power trying to do it throughout. Leads by a length. Running second the outside, Watto's Fury. Now start the Friar trying to extend. They will follow down on the inside to Little Fish, who's under pressure. Star Align getting out with Balladeer. Well back to Magna Force, Strata Creed, and then came down the outside, Moshard. It's Turbo Power with a kick at the 200. In front by two. Down the outside, start the Friar. Here comes Star Align with Moshard. Turbo Power grabbed by Start the Friar and Star Align. Star Align hits the lead and Star Align goes on and wins. Wins, defeats Moshard by a head. Third across the line, start the Friar. They were followed in by Turbo Power, Balladeer, Watto's Fury. Then came Kakadu, followed in by Little Fish. Then came Stratocreed, who didn't give a yelp. And a long last was Magna Force. Number four, Star Align for William Pike. And Peter Fernie, that's now four winners to Peter Fernie from six events today. And, of course, he's got a couple lining up in the next, the Blue Spec Drilling Boulder Cup. Well, what a uh, perfectly timed run by William Pike to get Star Align home here. The horse was uh, pretty much first up last start when finishing second behind Start the Friar. And uh, with that run, has taken improvement and gone on to win by a head, defeating the stablemate in Moshard. And number seven, start the Friar, which was a big effort, sitting three wide throughout. 11 will get fourth in turbo power. So four, one, seven, 11. The margin's coming forward now. Long head by a length. And 111.65, the winning gallop for the 1300. They'll have to check that. That will be wrong. 41711, the interim numbers after the running of the Yarradale Stud Tom Sayers Memorial Handicap. The yards still waiting on Peter Fernie. We might get a chat with Luke Fernie here. Luke, well, I suppose it didn't matter in the photo which way it went to you guys. Nah, it's all the same. I mean, Dad's got them all flying at the moment, so it seems to be whatever he puts a saddle on, they run in the first couple, so it's good. It's been a massive day for your dad, four winners, and he's coming into the yard now, so we might dismiss you and let you go strap and we'll have a dad word with him. Yeah, he might smile now. <laughs> Peter Fernie, come on over here. Four winners on today's program. And I just said to Luke, I suppose it didn't really matter to you in the photo which way it was uh, going to go in the finish. I own a bit more of Mosh, but it didn't really matter. I done it for, uh, it was good to see the colours. Old George has, hasn't had the best of health and his grandsons and uh, son-in-laws and everyone are in the horse, so I said uh, George had given them up, and so George has been fantastic for Kalgoorlie, and I thought it was a 
fitting effort we put him on him today and he's going to keep racing in an hour for George. So. Oh, that's, really George nice. that's really nice to see them on him. Hey, not just uh, new colours on him, but uh, new colours on Moshard as well. What are those? Oh, they're my daughters. She stopped them. Bad colours. <laughs> He wasn't far away. Maybe they'll be the ones that uh, can salute in the Hannons. Are both horses headed in that direction? I will have a talk to Willie and see where he wants to go. I'm not over fussed with Star Align. There's another nice 66 plus for him. So Mosh will go there and drop a lot of weight. He'll drop the minimum, drop, you know, eight kilos. So he'll go really good, I think. Big cheer from the crowd as he comes on in. Four winners today. What's your record in a day? I think I trained five or six on a Boulder Cup day once before. So hopefully it keeps going. You got another winner for today? Hopefully pink and purple, but I don't want to mock it. Best of luck. Well done. There's Peter Fernie after the victory of Star Align. Runs one, two. There he's uh, going great guns at the moment, Peter Fernie. Well, I say at the moment, but <laughs> throughout the whole season, uh, he uh, has been going so well over many, many seasons and another four winners today. And he thinks his record's five there, Crushane. So he'll be hoping that he can... Uh, we'll notch up another win on today's program but star align well had no luck whatsoever last start and uh once just found a little bit of room last start was able to savage the line well today down that outside was able to run home carried 61 kilos last start dropped to 59 and a half today so the riding was probably on the wall there and william pike just about to weigh in and we'll just get a word from willie on what he thought of the run of star align today and uh, he's just jumping off the scales now. We'll get a quick word with Willie. Willie, what do you think of that run? I thought it was a very good run. Um, didn't get many favours. We were scouted pretty wide. Um, but I think that might be the flavour of the day. I've been getting held up all day, and I got held up on this bloke last start. So maybe just get them in the clear and let them see what they've got. Certainly uh, it made up for it and uh, was able to run away with it there today. Pete just said he would just ask you what you thought in regards to heading towards the Hannons at his next start. I think they probably they've got to have a go. Um, it's only around the corner. The horse is going good right now. I think that means a lot when you're heading to those sort of races. And uh, he's got George Grilicic's colours on, and George is over there. I said, give him a wave and said hello. So that uh, was a nice touch. And look, he's in form. So you, I think you've got to have a crack at the good races while you're in form. It's nice to see those colours. Well done. Thank you. There's William Pike after the victory of Star Align. Very happy punters on the fence too. That's Star Align taking out race number six. The next one to come from Kalgoorlie is the Boulder Cup, the feature. But for now, our Sky Thoroughbred Central audience, it's off to Sha Tin. Eleven correct weight after the running of race six, the big one, the listed blue spec, spec drilling boulder cap over 2100 coming up at 10 minutes to five.
Well, good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. We've just witnessed the running of the Yarradale Stud, Tom Sayers Memorial Handicap, and a precursor to the classic Hannon's Handicap in Thursday week's time. Taken out this afternoon by Star Align, trained by Cambana Lodge, Peter Fernie, and ridden by William Pike. To introduce proceedings for the memorial this afternoon, please make welcome once again, Mr. Harry Donald, Vice Chairman of the Cagley Boulder Racing Club. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris Shane. Have a look up on the stage here because this is a real family celebration here today. Um, this race, a lot of the old timers will know, is named after Mr. Tom uh, Sayers, who um, unfortunately passed away. Well, fortunately, I suppose, at the races, which is what we'd all do. I only hope he backed the winner the day he did. It was on Boulder Cup Day. Um, Yarradale Stud started um, quite some time ago by Ronnie Sayers, who's been a great supporter of this race club for a long, long time. And his wife's best friend is here, uh, Pam Armstrong, uh, to present the trophy to them. I don't think there'll be anybody in the goldfields who would begrudge this family winning the trophy. I'd like to introduce you to Pam Armstrong. Oh, thank you. On behalf of Lena Ron Sayers, I'd like to present this trophy to the connections of Star Align, which happens to be a personal family connection. So no one better in that race today could have won this trophy. So just a little side note, my husband bought the colours during the week, which were black and red and white. <laughs> Sorry, not black and white, red and white. And our horse ran around in today. And during the week, one of the, our family members said, um, wouldn't it be nice if the horse wins in the red and white colours? And Brett said, oh, in my colours. And he said, no, Pop's colours. You have to train horses for 50 years before they become your colours. And so for your first win today, Brett, this is, this is so good. So to the connections of Star Align, Peter Fernie, Willie Pike... I'd like to hand you over to the Winnie Connections. Well done. Um, we don't normally let uh, Frosty get near the mic, and now you can see why. We'll have another go. Frosty Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm up at the Star Line Syndicate. I'd just like to thank Yarradale Stud for the trophy, and thanks to Willie Pike and Peter Fernie for riding and training. Thank you.